I'm Norm Easterbrook, Executive Director and CEO of River Center. I'm sorry that I'm not able to be with you today, but hope that your visit to Columbus is proving to be enjoyable and informative. It is my pleasure to welcome you to River Center. River Center is one of those unique features that distinguishes the Columbus community from many others around the country, consisting of three performing spaces, Bill Hurd Theater seating 2,000 and the space that you are in now. Legacy Hall seating 450 is a stunning concert hall with exquisite acoustics housing the Jordan Concert Organ. And the Studio Theater, a black box multi-use space seating 150. River Center is the result of the Columbus region's forward-looking vision, willingness to collaborate for the betterment of the community, and a solid determination to do the hard work required for success. River Center opened in 2003. It was first envisioned to replace the aging and rapidly deteriorating Three Arts Theater and was the centerpiece for a campaign called the Columbus Challenge. Launched in the late 1990s, the campaign raised funding for historic Columbus, the Liberty Theater, the Springer Opera House, the Columbus Museum, the Columbus Naval Museum, the Columbus Symphony, and the Coca-Cola Space Science Center. All of these organizations were seeking funds for endowments, renovations, new construction, and so forth. Led by the local philanthropic community, these organizations joined in a unified campaign that raised $100 million. As the project evolved, a few key factors came into play that focused the intent. The project team saw that River Center was not only about providing performance space for the symphony or the youth orchestra of Greater Columbus and other performing arts organizations and programs, but that it could also house the Columbus State University Schwab School of Music. An overriding theme emerged that River Center was about economic development. Today, River Center houses over 280 events a year in each of its three performance spaces. Residents and visitors on any given day can expect a variety of free programs, from classical to jazz to popular music, through the Schwab School of Music and Youth Orchestra programming. River Center offerings include everything from professional touring Broadway productions, extraordinary classical performers, the likes of Joshua Bell and Renee Fleming, the Foreigner Farewell Tour, and Air Supply, and free performances of the premier touring ensembles of the United States military. River Center's theater organ called The Wave thrills visitors to our annual community gingerbread village, then brings chills to our audiences for our annual Halloween celebration and food drive. Thousands of school children spend a part of their school day at River Center experiencing the thrill of live theater. The annual Georgia Thespian Conference brings 6,000 high school students to our community to celebrate, practice, and learn about the craft of theater. The annual Miss Georgia week-long competition celebrates the remarkable accomplishments and dreams of over 90 women competing in the River Center facility and various uptown venues. All this is to say that the investment made in the establishment of River Center and the continuing investment made to ensure our success is well spent. The Columbus community is blessed with an abundance of arts of all kinds. Visual art abounds in museums and galleries throughout the community. Columbus State University's Bo Bartlett Center presents touring exhibitions and exhibitions from its collection. The Bradley Company's outstanding gallery and commissioning projects are illustrative of the company's continuing commitment to promoting the visual arts. The newly renovated Columbus Museum houses extraordinary collections of importance to the Columbus community while offering exciting programs for all ages, from toddlers to seniors designed to enliven and challenge our perspective of the world around us. Our elementary, middle, and high schools are enlivened by programs supplied by the Columbus Ballet, the Youth Orchestra of Greater Columbus, the Columbus Symphony, Columbus Museum, and a host of other local arts organizations committed to providing our youth with a well-rounded education. Our parks and public spaces throughout the area, the Riverwalk, our uptown area, all feature the lively arts throughout the year against a backdrop of public art, sculptures, and murals to be found in the most unexpected places. Within one block of River Center, you can find six performance spaces. Three here in River Center, Columbus State University's Riverside Theater presenting new work, delightful student productions, and children's programming, and the historic State Theater of Georgia, the Springer Opera House, with two theaters presenting exciting performances and musicals from the comic to the tragic, sponsoring new plays and offering multiple programs designed for preschool age and teenage participants to introduce young people to the extraordinary benefits gained for any future endeavor by practicing theater skills. The measure of return on investment in River Center alone by the Columbus community this year is seven and three quarter million dollars in combined organization and audience expenditures. Supports 139 jobs, 
and $5.7 million in household income. This yields $300,000 in local government revenue and $330,000 in state government revenue. And that's just River Center alone. Add to this the economic impact of the Columbus Museum and the Springer Theater, both organizations with numbers equal to or greater than River Centers, and you cannot deny the combined value contributed by all of the Columbus Arts organizations to the Columbus community. There is so much more that I can share with you about the arts in our community, so I leave you with this. No matter the genre, visual, music, literary, theater, dance, the arts smooth the edges between individuals and within our communities through shared experiences. You will find here in Columbus and any other community that you visit that artists and arts organizations are of one accord, and that is to do what we can to make our communities better. Opening the eyes of a youngster to consider a new perspective, providing a few moments of escape and solace from the daily routine, or teaching others the joy of engaging in the creative arts. Each are of immeasurable value. These are the unseen returns on our investment and what we are truly about. In accomplishing any one of these, the job is well done. Thank you for visiting Columbus and thank you for visiting River Center. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your time here and that you will return to visit us often.